So I keep hearing from people, Sam, you need to get a razor. Now this particular video is part one of a four part series on milling some wood all the way to finishing it. And in that video series, I'll do a regular bowl and I'll do a natural edge bowl. Then I'll finish up a bowl blank that's been sitting around drying for quite a while. So this is just my wood pile and this is some of the wood that I'm going to mill up in this video. Oh, greetings once again. This is Sam in Wyoming. Today is the first day of spring. So I'm sitting outside in my wood lot and I've got lots and lots of wood to turn. And I'm going to do a couple of videos on, first of all, milling some bowl blanks and then rough churning them. And I probably won't get to finishing these because that's about six months off. You'll probably see them maybe next winter sometime as I finish up those bowl blanks. But the first step for me is always really fun. It's approaching a piece of wood and determining what I do with that. Do I do a natural edge bowl, which I intend to do with some of this wood? Uh, do I just do a normal bowl? Am I gonna have a piece of wood that's large enough to do some coring? So there may be some coring in the next video or two. And I've done a lot of that in the past. But anyway, I'm looking at this piece of wood right here. I'll give you some close-ups of that. Most of what I'm gonna turn right now is honey locust. And that's something that every four or five months, somebody calls me up and says, do you want a tree? All this wood came from our local golf course, the Green Hills Municipal Golf Course here in Warland. And they were cutting down some, some very large honey locust trees. I've got some birch. I've got a little bit of ash. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna focus on the honey locust. Now, this piece right here is a prime candidate for a natural edge bowl. I really like the shape of this because it's very flat. And I like to do some natural edge bowls where the, uh, where the high part and the low part are very close to being just level. I like that effect. And I've got uh, a number of crotch pieces, which always gives you some really nice figure. And anyway, I'm gonna get suited up, do a little chainsaw work, and uh, one thing I have to keep in mind here is I can only cut up and mill so much wood before it starts going bad in a week or something. You know, I may need to coat the ends of this with some paint. This wood's been sitting here all winter. We had a typical Wyoming winter where it was very cold for a long period of time. Oftentimes from November to well into February, it's five below or something. So this wood has been preserved naturally because it's been frozen. So let's uh, readjust the camera and I'll get my chainsaw out and we'll cut up some wood. Well, I'll do a little play-by-play -play action here as I cut this wood up with my chainsaw. And I'm just cutting this to length right now. And then the next step after I do that I'm going to cut that right down the center. I'm going to split it. And I've got some chalk there indicating the line that I'm aiming for. And you'll notice that I don't uh, aim very well, but that's okay. And this is the typical way you make uh, bowl blanks for wood turning. If you're new to wood turning, I'm going to have two nice bowl blanks. This particular wood is some birch. And I'm finishing up that cut. And the next thing I'm doing here on the left side of that log, I'm also flattening the area that's going to be the very bottom of the bowl. And this allows me to run that through my chainsaw and uh, do it in a safe and stable approach. The main thing to keep in mind is you want to get that pith taken out of your 
bowl blank. So I'm going to set these aside and the next few clips I'll be cutting up uh, different blanks for turning. Keep in mind the next video I'll be turning this particular piece. And then the third video I'll be doing a natural edge bowl actually out of this log right here. And Coco is wondering why she's locked in there. All right, now what I'm doing here is I'm cutting this down to a good length. And there's a split screen on the left. I'm taking off one end of the log, and on the other side of that split screen, I'm taking off the other end because it's just too long. I'm going to cut this into about a 10 or 11 inch bowl blank, and you will see that as we move forward. Here I'm taking my chainsaw and I'm just splitting this. And the side of the log you're looking at right now is going to be the subject of the third video, turning a natural edge bowl. Here we are. And there's going to be some really nice figure in that underside. When you're cutting up and turning a crotch, there's always some really nice feather or ripple figure inside that wood. This is another piece of birch. And I'm taking off that right side that I like to do. And I'm taking off the other side. Then I'll split that right down the middle right here. And I'll have two more bowl blanks. Now there's a very good shot of my chainsaw clogging up with those very wet shavings. And off camera I have to clean that out several times. Of course with my saw off, this is a very dangerous machine. And you've got to be really careful. Now the other thing that's coming up here in a couple days, I have an open shop every month in my shop in between our regular club meetings. And this is some really good wood for new people to turn. It's easy to turn. It's a little bit more forgiving. Easy on the tools and... I can just chuck up some of this wood and uh, let the new members, the new turners, make some shavings, and that's always fun. And there's nothing like watching a guy with a chainsaw cut up wood. Now this wood all grew on our golf course, and they would just burn that. But it's nice to take some of this wood and find a new home for it make a bowl or something. Now I'm having a little trouble with my chainsaws. This wood is absolutely sopping wet. And if you can see the very back of my chainsaw, it's just clogging up with those shavings. And I have to stop several times and uh, turn my saw off and clean all that out. So there we go. A couple more bowl blanks. And uh, I'm probably going to quit here pretty soon because... I don't want to get too far ahead of myself with these bowl blanks or else they'll start cracking and drying out. Now here's a log that's going to be one or two eventual bowl blanks and this is a good example of where the pith is really off center. I try to center that pith up as best I can and I'm just uh, cutting down into that uh, where I'm going to split it. I already have that log cut to length, so all I have to do is split it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to turn that small bowl blank right there, so I toss it aside. But this is going to make a nice uh, bowl. And I'm showing you the very end. I've got some cracks in that, and I've got to get to this wood fairly quick, or else it's just going to dry out. So.
Well, I've selected my first victim that I'm gonna take inside my shop and rough turn. So the first part of this video series has been on milling wood with the chainsaw. And I've selected this particular piece of birch. It's only about 12 inches in length this way. And it's fairly deep. I'll probably get a, oh, maybe a five inch bowl in depth out of that. So that's a nice piece of wood. And part two is gonna be on rough turning. So milling with the chainsaw, part two, I'm gonna do some rough turning and I gotta to get to this wood before it starts cracking because it's spring in Wyoming and right now the wind is blowing. So let's go inside the shop and make some shavings.